Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to Krasberg. Once again, I hope you guys are feeling fantastic today. I know I am. I'm doing so much progress for today's video, so I'm so hyped to show you guys. But before we get on with that, go down there, hit that little thumbs up button. It's really helping my channel out and it's the best way of showing your support to what I do. I hate asking for it. Uh, but it just helps my channel out so much and I really really appreciate that guys today. We are building uh, I think we're doing like four or five Houses, but we're doing a lot more than that as well starting off with a little diagonal here Continuing where we kind of left off last video uh, with an uh, like apartment building for instance residential yes English. Thank you <laughs> residential buildings um, then we are going to add and this big yellow building in here. I, I went a little crazy. I I, I added and like a, one more floor than I usually do and it just turned out very nice. It's it's very tall and it just works. Uh, it's a, a sail maker. So the, uh, it's very close to the harbor. So people could come in here, buy some sails. Uh, it's actually a very strategically placed. It's just between the harbor for trading, but it's also going to be super close to the fishing harbor. Uh, so definitely one of the best locations for selling sails. And then we're doing another building on the side here, which is also pretty tall uh, and it's built very like uphill here, which just makes it look super nice. And I think these two buildings together just works. I just I don't know, it's just something about the colors here and the shapes of them. Uh, it's slightly diagonal, which you know I love. Uh, well, I don't love building them, but I love having them, so uh, that kind of works. And this is going to be a cobbler uh, for making shoes, if you don't know the term. Uh, so yeah, just a little shoe maker house. And I just, yeah, I think it's cute. I really like the colors of it. And yeah, it just really works for this, I think. And then we're going to do another... Um, or a yellow building. It's going to be very yellow. It's probably the first like actual yellow building I'm doing. Uh, it's very tricky because it's an even number on a diagonal, which is just I don't don't even know why I decided to go for that. But uh, I think I made it work. I had to go for a rustic feeling instead of a very classic feeling. Uh, but I'll show you later. Uh, I think it works. Uh, and on the sides, I'm just using a planar kind of plaster because. You're, you're not gonna paint the walls that you don't see from the main street too much. But the whole idea for today's video is that um, we are working on this area behind these houses here, as you can see right now, which is gonna be like smaller farms, some stables uh, and things uh, for uh, the people living here. It's just gonna add some open air uh, into the city and I think... Uh, it looks really nice in the end, so I'm looking forward to show you that. But this is episode 59, which means next episode is going to be, you guessed it, episode 660, uh, which is going to be another tour. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. We're going to like run through the whole uh, city of Krasberg, and it's going to be amazing. So uh, let me know about down below, guys, if you're hyped for a tour video. And if you're so new that you don't really know how everything is connected, because we're really going to tackle that. And we are in first person right now. We're going to check out what I have built today. Um, Sally, it was not together with you. I didn't stream a lot of this. I've been super busy with other stuff. So I've just been having a few minutes, hours here and there. Not really a lot of time to do some actual streaming. But hope you guys don't mind. And uh, it's rest right next to where we worked on the wealthy district uh, a few episodes ago And it's just right here the path is going to lead through here. It's going to be all nice uh, going to look down at the harbor here um, and, and you can really see how how nicely located a sailor or the sail maker is uh, right here We're going to have the fishing uh, port and right over Well, it's not really loaded now Right over here, we have the trading port, so it's very nicely located here. It's very uh, like a strategic position for this guy. And here, you can just see the colors. I just love this place. Um, not sure why, but it, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> and it's a little bit taller than some of the other buildings here, which also just makes it look pretty nice. It breaks up the skyline a little bit, which I think is super important. But if we run through here, this narrow street, uh, we get to the buildings uh, we started with, uh, this one right here. And then we got the yellow building, 
which um, we did not start with. So we're going to check that out after this one, I think. Uh, this one is an apartment building. So there's one apartment down here. And we'll, like with some beds and stuff like that up here. Looking all simple and stuff, but it works. Um, if we go through here, though, we get to... Uh, yeah, it's a diagonal. Bear with it, guys. <laughs> uh, we get to a little back entrance, which takes us out to this courtyard. Or, well, not really courtyard, just like a back alley thing. Uh, we're going to check that out in detail <laughs> in a second. Oh, look at a fat chicken there. Be cute. <laughs> uh, but if we go up the staircase here, uh, we get to another apartment uh, like that. Very simple. Gets the job done. And, and you can sit here, heat yourself, make some food and, and stuff. And there's also a ladder going up to the second floor where we have some beds. Uh, these ones are more sophisticated than the ones in the first floor. And a pretty nice bed up here for the parents as well. So... Yeah, not too shabby. But uh, we'll go out here again and we'll uh, check out the yellow building right next to this one. Uh, I'm going to show you the facade of that one as well. Because uh, it's something I don't do too much in Krasberg. But it's something I might point out to you. Uh, I went with a very rustic kind of feel in here. Uh, this building here is an even number. So if you count the blocks, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight blocks, uh, which means doing diagonals is super tricky. I have no clue why I did it, but but I think it works. It is weird. It's not like symmetrical or anything, um, but that's kind of what pulls this building off. I think. Yeah, I like it. Uh, this one is a barber, so we can get in here. You can see you can get yourself a nice trim here. Maybe dye your hair pitch black or pink, whatever you prefer. Um, and yeah, just. A cool little barber shop, you know? Um, a lot of like papers, uh, notes, and things. And an area you can hang your hat up. Because you're probably gonna wear a hat to, to cover your ugly hair before you get in here and get a fresh cut, you know? So that's that. Um, back here, we just have some storage for like food, but also maybe tools for the barber shop and things like that. And this again leads back to the alley here, which I think we're going to check out just after this house because it kind of makes sense to go back at uh, the back entrance here. Up here we have a kitchen. Um, yep, yeah, not too much to say about that. An area to sit and a staircase going up. And we're going to check out uh, the master bedroom first. Nice and open and got some nice views. Uh, if I don't stand on the table, yep. Yeah. <laughs> looking over at uh, the building right next door here and yeah not too bad and up the staircase here we get to um, like the area where the children are sleeping um, so yeah just two beds simple some paintings and storage uh, and then we got like um, let's call it like the washing room uh, and this is where Hello ladder, nice to see you. Uh, this is where you like you take a dump here um, and clean yourself as well, like a bathroom kind of, uh, but simpler. Um, yeah, and there's a ladder going to the attic here where uh, things are stored, you know, just things. <laughs> Very simple, but yeah. You get idea here. Uh, I've done so much today. I don't think we can spend too much time on every single build um, because the video is going to be an hour long if we do that. And I have a feeling maybe the next episode is going to be an hour long. So let's not do that for this one. Uh, we're going to just walk through here a little bit, check that out, and get our way to the back so we can check out these two houses here. Uh, we have a little chicken coop here uh, where we have some chickens running around, laying some eggs. Uh, it's all run by this house which you're going to check out in the end uh, which is a little bit of a farmer house thing. And there's a little pumpkin yard where you yeah harvest them uh, and then just like a little farming thing. I'm very inspired by Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, we have this cool uh, yeah pretty happy with this design for um, and like drying clothes here you know use your imagination and it kind of works uh, we got an area like a tub to to take a bath in or clean stuff in yeah you can use that forever and just like a shed for 
uh, firewood and, and things like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, very simple. Little wooden shack with hay on top or thatch, I guess. Um, we got a cart bringing in some wheat here or hay. Maybe for the pigs that are or sheep, whatever. I think we're going to have pigs here. Which are going to live here. Um, or, or just for other things, you know. And a little well. Uh, that is going to be used. I'll probably connect that up with a system we have. Uh, but the well is going to be used by all of these houses here. So, yeah. And, of course, a little area for birds. Because we like birds. They're cute. Uh, but I really like this idea here. It's It really opens up the city a little bit. So it's not just dense houses all over the place. There's, like, small patches of air. Breaks the skyline. Look good. And, yeah. Building houses on houses on houses can be boring. But breaking it up like this just... Gives it a little bit of a fresh touch, in my opinion. Uh, let's check out the yellow house here. Um, this is a sailmaker, as I've told you. It's right next to um, this building here, which did the last video, which is a residential building. And we got a nice blossom tree right here, just spicing it up a little bit. But yeah, um, I'm not sure how to indicate sail, so <laughs> we got some paper up here. It can look like a sail. Uh, in here we have uh, where the, the dude uh, and dudettes and everyone is making sails. We got this nice weave. It's inspired by a medieval advanced weave thing. Uh, weaver. I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, but this is where you like make the sails and you pack them into this um, like rolls here. So it's supposed to be sails, you know, <laughs> best I can do. Uh, so we got a lot of those and we also got a few stored in the back here. And this is probably where you'd pick it up because it's, it's pretty huge and it's probably heavy. Uh, well, I should probably do a cart loading sails. That would be awesome. But you'll come down here with your cart, load on and bring it back to your boat. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this thing. Uh, it's like separated from the house here. Um, this way here though, we get into the building itself. A little hallway here. And up here we got the kitchen, um, not too much to say, uh, pause the video if you want to count some blocks here, um, yeah. Which leads into the master bedroom, very nice and big, and we got ourselves uh, like a heating oven, yeah, <laughs> I think so. Um, and a little like storage unit in the back, almost like a walk-in closet, you know, very nice. Uh, we can go further up and I'm going to check out the rest here. Uh, here we have the living room. This is very cozy. I love the beams or like the wood on the side here. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then in here we have um, the children's bedroom where we have two beds and uh, some nice views. Uh, this probably have view over the next door house, don't they? Yeah. So you can see down there at uh, the, the shrine. And also see all the way over to the Hill of Faith, which <laughs> is what you see through there. Uh, the Hill of Faith is a very old part of the city. We're going to check that out in the next video, probably. Uh, and then in here we have the poop room. Yeah. The poop room. Let's call it that. Uh, let's close some doors after us, just to be very polite. And uh, go up here. Here we have an apprentice living. So uh, it's, a, it's like a separated apartment. It's just a very little kitchen here. To, so he can make himself some food uh, and sit here. Maybe have some people over. I'm not sure how it would work in medieval times, but you know. Uh, actually, he has two apprentices looking at it. There's two beds here. So yeah, not plates for any friends, but you know. Uh, an area to wash them. <coughs> wow, sorry. An area to wash themselves and stuff like that. Uh, and a little poop room for them, private poop room. And a ladder going up to like more storage all the way up here. So that's nice. But uh, yeah, uh, let's go down here. I've been spending way too much time. <laughs> uh, there's two more houses I want to show you guys uh, before I let you guys go. And I'm not going to let you go before we do that. And uh, let's go up this way, and, and we'll see. You know what? It was actually bad. We should go the other way. Well, we can walk around and <laughs> look at this house. Uh, this is the cobbler uh, making shoes for the people of Krasburg, and um, it's all pretty nice. Uh, it's small. It's a workshop area, but you know, 
making boots is, is very nice and a lot of people use them this is supposed to be a pile of wood but my my stupid brain think this looks like shoes so bear with me guys it's shoes all right <laughs> uh, and a little entrance or exit to the back here uh, but yeah, in here we have a small kitchen area, an area to sit, and a fireplace, and stuff like that. Uh, if we go up, we have the living room where we could sit, play some games, just relax uh, in when it's dark, um, and stuff like that. And we got the master bedroom uh, on this side here, a little smaller, but it gets the job done. Uh, definitely some of the nicest views here, uh, you're gonna probably be able to see the marina from here so yeah not too bad uh, and there's a ladder going up here uh, I really hate working with um, stairs for diagonal buildings so sometimes I just use a ladder uh, to be quick about it but yeah uh, up here yeah a little bit dirty cobwebs and stuff um, but this is where the kids would be sleeping uh, they have definitely a nice view from here so yeah Pretty nice. Uh, we'll go down again and uh, we're going to check out um, the farmer house, which uh, I'm sorry guys, but it's not completely done. I kind of went a little overboard uh, before uh, thinking about when to stop. Uh, but luckily I have a lot of time before episode 61. I do have two weeks since next week is going to be a tour, meaning I'll have time to finish this house, no problems, and we can add a lot more, so that's cool. Um, this house here is the farmer house, there's a door here which leads into the area where the people are sleeping, uh, but there's also, you can follow this road through here, and there's a little like wonky stair, but uh, it gets you into a little bit of a shop where you can buy like the stuff they're growing, harvesting, like pumpkins, if you want to, eggs, uh, uh, and things like that, so... Yeah, just a little shop. Very simple. And there's a door leading to the, um, the kitchen area and the area we, we went through right here, you know. So, a little area to get some food and, and things like that. Uh, on this side here, we got a little pantry for the family, storing stuff and things. And, yeah, kind of all you need. And up here... We have uh, some things. <laughs> we have the master bedroom over here. Nice and big. Love the paneling on the walls here. And yeah, really cool. Um, and then we got the, um, the, the poop room. Another poop room. Yes, very cool. And we got a little storage room right here. So that is all I got time for for this house here. I do believe the upstairs is... More or less empty, yeah. So I'm gonna get to that after the video, um, whenever I do have time. Because now I'm running short on time before uh, having to finish today's video. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.